Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry, an orbital simulator, an early access game that allows you to play the part of an Apollo, Gemini or Mercury astronaut. But I'm pleased to report that we also have a music slider here now. I know uh, people were irritated by the music being on the previous episode because it was loud. But I feel like I was getting you used to talking over the din in a spacecraft, the noise that could occur during launch and um, otherwise the whirring that goes on in the spacecraft and also the fact that in uh, 5 psi atmosphere the sound doesn't really carry that much so you generally have to shout or in Skylab they actually had to use an intercom so you know yeah whatever anyway we have a volume slider now so Academy Project Gemini uh, example mission now it's been vacation time between uh, right now and me doing all the lessons so given how vacation normally works I have forgotten everything so let's see how I do given the fact that I, I don't remember what else went on in all the other lessons let's see okay full mission test we've got 10 minutes Roger uh, some some parts of the mission they'll help but I'm mostly on my own uh, ascend its initial parking orbit. Okay. So, mission pad. Splash down an ocean. Briefing. Map checklist. Oh, map. Uh, nice map. Okay. Uh, pre flight. Uh, run. Main batteries are over there. Flick, 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 flick. Uh, and that takes two flicks to do this good batteries. I better get into the pilot seat because these switches are tough to see otherwise. So those are the fuel cells and power warm up. Well, we should warm them up first, right? Uh, well, they're on anyway, right? I guess they were already on warm up. Okay. Computer power up. Let's get back into the commander seat. Okay, MDIU power up, squib boost insert, oh, here we go, and the retro squibs, okay, ah, there we go, coolant pumps, gotta watch out for those. The suit fan down. Computer mode for ascent and perform radio check. Um, radio check. Okay, radio check is done. Let's well, say probe. I think we're done. So that's the ascent checklist. We turn stuff on. Well, the rest is just after insertion, or is insertion. Actually, uh, Gemini 3 was March 23rd, 1965, so apparently we're uh, two days late. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so now we can hear the spacecraft sounds and my simulated breathing over the music. I don't know if that's better or not. But, well, while we are waiting, this is our rocket. Interesting, they've got this over here and then a little stand on the side here. Well, when I'm not in the middle of an exam, I'm gonna try to toggle the hatch and see what happens, but not this time. We'll just stick to the interior view as it launches. Roger roll. 
Good left on eight. It's interesting the engines don't start ahead of T minus zero. I don't know how the ignition sequence for Titan rockets go actually. units this altitude is measuring in. I guess it must be that the big hand is tens of thousands of feet. Otherwise it doesn't make much sense. Maybe we should take a good look at our G-forces, huh? I still wonder why the engine one lights aren't like green or something. Because those are the engines that are running right now. Well, it's gotten dark outside. And that has us at 100,000 feet. Rocket hot stages, so the second stage would have ignited before the first stage separated. Don't know exactly what that feels like in the cockpit, though. Alright, here we go. Roger, Seco. Use the light switch that illuminates to separate the spaceship. Yeah, special space craft separation okay Roger then jettison the fairings allows the enable OMS checklist and zero the IVIs so jettison fairings shouldn't that have happened first because it's on top did that happen did I do that right I feel like I didn't do that right well, the, set, uh, the fairing's jettisoned, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see the stuff down here. So, it's okay. That is the fairing going off. Okay, well, let's get on with the checklist then. Okay, control power on. And that up. Okay, and that's that for the ohms. When the IBIs are zero, follow the insertion checklist. Once the scanner has detected Earth, the illuminated scanner light is extinguished, you'll be in an initial parking orbit. Set the computer to catch up and wait 10 minutes for the computer to load. Okay. Okay. Yep, we are on catch up. And we have to wait 10 minutes for the computer to load. Okay, now the IVIs are zero. So, let's bring up the mission pad. Can we, do we have to wait 10 minutes before doing this checklist? I was unclear about that. Hmm. Maybe it would be safer. Well, we've got a counter. So at 18 minutes, we should be good to go. And the computer light should be on. Let's hope. Um, oh. Start the computer. This module will give you an IVI correction once you reach Apogee. Time to Apogee can be read using com the checking core 7-3. Time to Perigee is 7-4. Oh, no. Clear, please. Okay. Clear. 7-3. Read out. 
Yeah, okay. So we've got 30 odd minutes till we reach Apoapsis. And we have an IVI correction of 24 in that direction. And sure, Rocket is in Ceph. Which is sharp and forward. And that's here. Zero the IVIs again if needed. Okay. Uh, let's go through the insertion checklist now. I feel like it is finally time. Yes. Hopefully we weren't already supposed to have done that. Okay, run. Ohms down. Are you sure about that? Uh, middle, 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 middle. Squib, safe, safe. Okay, well, I guess that's insertion for us. But ohms off? Do I really want ohms off? Orbiting, platform align. Well, anyway, I'm gonna turn ohms back on, darn it. And you know what? Outside, let me verify that we have ohms. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me not have the throttle. There we go. Mm, my control thrusters don't seem to be working. Whoa. Uh, translational seems fine. Rotational doesn't. I don't have rotation. Well, that might be just because of our mode right now. Okay, coming out of time warp, we've got one minute left. Uh, let's get to sharp end forward. And we can verify that we are turning, so that's good. It can rotate me. That's fine. It was just sort of... Okay, prepare to zero AVIs, IVIs on mark. Okay. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, thirteen, twelve, ten. Okay, I can use this clock now. Okay, I'm throttling forward. Uh, I don't seem to be doing it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, well, I did that. I might need to reverse my throttle, so that's a setting thing. Alright, we managed it. They are zeroed, so that's good. What next? <laughs> uh, let's take a look outside. Oh, it's dark. Okay, back inside then. I mean, I should verify that I can roll myself now. And so let's take it out of set mode. Stay in this orbit until retrograde. Let me do a sanity check. So we're basically at apoapsis. Uh, let me clear this and ask for a readout. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's about right. I just wanted to make sure the number was what I would expect it to be for our orbit. Boy, did we have a lot of problems last time. What is our orbit? Uh, set the platform to blunt end forward, so the retrograde engines are pointing. Oh, but I, I wanted to play around first. Um, I think I have to turn attitude control to direct if I want to actually control it. That was what it was. Okay, retrograde is in one hour and three minutes and five seconds. Boy, they're really rushing us, aren't they? Okay, comms, orbit info. Apoapsis is 248.9 kilometers, periapsis 160.2 kilometers, inclination 32.5.
Okay, but I would like to verify that I can actually control stuff, so I'm gonna set it to direct. Uh huh. Let's see this from outside. Oh, right, we can't see anything from outside yet. Alright, that's fine. Let's put it back onto platform. We can verify later the retrograde mark. It's interesting. It's pointing. Re it says it's pointing retrograde, but there's no way zero is. I mean, I don't know what coordinate system it's using. Oh, and it's not stopping roll, is it? Okay, let me go back to. Uh, pulse will be good. I just want to kill the roll rate. That'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know whether the whole return thing is going to work out this time. I mean, obviously, if the nav ball was Kerbal Space Program, this would not be the direction to point in. You would want to be pointing westward, not northward. But I guess our orientation system might be a little bit different. Let me just quickly check the orbit. Okay, um, let me fire the thruster a little bit. I'm firing it forward in theory. Okay, that was supposed to be forward, but alright. Maybe I've got a little bit mixed up. 247.9, 148.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 149.9, 
perigee and apogee of the target vehicle. So, to have as reference, 98 is our current apogee, 6617, and 99 is the perigee, 6527, and then the target vehicle is at 80, and you can see 6668 whereas our max height was 6617 so it's a little bit above us by a few kilometers and 81 is the apogee 6669 it's in a relatively circular orbit around there so a little bit higher than us but presumably if we wanted to rendezvous there's an Agena waiting for us there maybe but they're not testing that uh, testing us on that right now Thankfully, because they never taught us how to rendezvous properly. 75 is the orbital period. Okay, that makes sense. So a little bit less than an hour and a half. An hour and a half is 5400. Oh, and we can check the inclination of the target vehicle too. That's 82. 32 degrees and 49 minutes. Which is basically our current orbit, so we are we don't wouldn't need to do an inclination adjustment. As you might expect, I mean they just launch into the right inclination in the first place. And I guess I can time warp now. So the next checklist will be at five minutes to retro here, though we normally start that uh, clock over there at ten minutes to retro. Oh, we see a little glimpse of the Earth outside as we time warp. Uh, from the commander's panel, we can't see too much, but the seat brings us up a bit. Uh, those are the low resolution textures. Apparently there are high resolution textures available. It says 6 gig of memory. I'm not entirely clear whether that's the RAM memory or the video card memory. If it's video card memory, I don't have that. If it's RAM memory, I do. So... I'm, I'm assuming it's video card memory and I should probably not push my luck. Oh wait, 10 minutes is what we want. 10 minutes. This is in minutes and seconds, not just seconds. I think that zeroed it. Read 17, 6, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep. Counting down. Well, that was about a second off there. Let's see how well it matches. Yeah, close enough, within a second. Something seems to want a four burn of two meters, uh, two feet per second, sorry. Okay, oh, nope, nope. Okay, well, now we've zeroed that out, so hopefully our retro burn will be proper. I think. <laughs> hopefully. Alright. Um, let's get the mission pad up. So, five minutes to retro, we're gonna do all these things. And during the practice, that didn't seem to be much of a problem to get it all done. I wonder if I... it takes ten minutes to get the computer to a particular thingamajig, right? I wonder if I've already passed the point where I should have gotten the computer to re-entry. Uh-oh. Does it even tell me to do that? I don't think it does. Oh, shucks. Oh. oh, that light's on. I remember when that light's on, you can't do anything. We might be a little bit late. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough problems on my earlier run. 
Well, at five minutes, we'll run through the re-entry checklist and hope the computer's ready for us by that point. I don't know. Let's verify outside. We are traveling butt end first. So, whatever happens, we are the right way around. And run. Okay, five minutes to retro checklist. Roger. Okay, so... All right, we have to turn off these coolant pumps because we're going to be separating off the trunk and then we have to, well, obviously not be cooled by the trunk. Um, power up. And, well, it doesn't light up the in retro attitude, but we're sure going to push it. That might be because the computer is not ready yet. Computer light's still on. We're powering down the fuel cells. Um, there we go. Let me get to the pilot's panel. Okay, RCS. So, here we go. My favorite part. Separate Ohm's line. I mean... Should I activate the RCS now? Because I feel like I should activate the RCS now, darn it. I also feel like I should shut these off. Uh, gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this time. No, I wasn't gonna do that. Whatever that was. Okay. Separate Ohm's line. Separate electrics. And... Separate them. Well, it seemed to reorient properly there. And now we have our retros visible. The adapter is off. What happened to its gold foil? That's, that looks more like this section than the actual lower trunk. Anyway, let's not, let's not belabor it. Okay, fuse, retro, up, up, and everything else seems fine. We're two minutes to retro, two minutes, 35 seconds. That light's still on. Well, the computer doesn't show a malfunction, so maybe it's all right. I mean, these lit up fine, right? Those are probably related to the computer. This isn't showing any discrepancy. So, 30 seconds to retro. We'll arm the squibs and arm auto retro and then wait for the retros to fire. Well, let's just keep that up. We're pointing at 27 now, so our system of orientation seems to have changed. Looking on the outside, we do seem to be still pointed butt in first, if you can see our direction of travel. But yeah, our point of reference is different. It used to be butt in first, used to be pointing at uh, zero degrees. Now it's pointing west as I would expect. Let me just get a quick communication time to retro check. 45 seconds, yep. Orbit info, sanity check. We're 256 by 185. Okay, run, roger, flick, 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 flick. And arm auto retro push. And then we will manually fire the retro one second after, just in case. I guess if it's shaking, I should just skip this. I don't know if I, I'm supposed to do it if it's actually working. Okay, Jess and Retro Checklist, 
Let me do an altitude check. All right, 203, orbit info. Ah, periapsis zero, that's a good sign. Okay, next checklist. Jess and retros, well, just Jess and retro, a uh, squib, squib. That's why we should jettison retro squib arm and then just okay retros separated good job now complete the post retro jettison checklist here is probably not loaded into the module so once the ox tape light extinguishes press start so yeah we're still waiting I probably did that ahead of time uh, a little bit too early maybe I don't know after post retro jettison checklist when the computer is running perform the HF radio checklist Okay. Bottle landing checklist. Alright. So, mission plan... Pad. Plan pad. Okay. So... Post retro jettison. Run. Gonna safe the squibs. Squib landing up. Everything else seems fine. It disappeared everything else. Um, what else did it say? It said computer start. Okay. And then perform the next checklist. Oh, this is where it wanted me to turn the RCS. Well, screw you. I want my RCS right away, darn it. Otherwise, what the heck kind of control do we have? Okay. So, set HF radio. Antenna up. Okay, so that's all set. Let me go back to the pilot seat, and I would like a few. Oh, actually, pilot's panel is better. Um, a few sanity check things. First of all, let's make sure our current perigee. Uh, I don't remember the radius of the planet, actually. Okay, uh, I think that's wrong, though, to be honest. Orbit info. So there's 205 difference between apo apoapsis and periapsis there. But there isn't 205. These, these were our previous orbital parameters, not the post-retro orbital parameters. So that's interesting. Um, check our orbital period. That's still the full orbital period. It's not our current orbital period. This is the pre-retro orbital period. So the computer is lying. Interesting to note that the computer does not seem to work properly or read our proper parameters after we retro. But at least our radio check seems to be working and giving us good numbers. Um, we are on re-entry there. Actually controls should be on re-entry I believe. They didn't say that but I feel like if there's going to be uh, and the lights off so start computer is good and yeah if they're gonna give us a re-entry attitude control option, then that should be set to that. I remember it was a lot more complicated and they had me do a manual thing during the lesson. I forget the details of what they wanted to set me at for that. It seems like the checklist assumes that it's gonna be automatic. My suit temperature has been going down. It's a bit nippy. Cabin temperature has been fairly hot. I mean, look at that. 120 degrees Fahrenheit? What's up with that? Interesting, it's pitching down so much. And it hasn't really reoriented our role at all. I have control over role, actually. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh-oh. Uh, it's confused. Uh, 
Uh, this does not look like it's the right orientation at all. It might be... no, I, I don't think so. I don't like this. Um, I don't like this at all. So whatever these yellow markers are giving me, I don't trust them. Can we get, go back to platform and go butt in first instead? I feel more comfortable with it butt in first. I think. It doesn't let me adjust the roll like that, but I can't really see it very well right now. Uh, how about orbital view? No, that's not the orbital view I was hoping for. It's firing the thrusters a lot, actually. Um, I still feel it's not properly buttoned first, if you take a look. I know it's hard to see. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's get a sense of how long we have until we hit the atmosphere. We're at 107 kilometers right now. We actually should be theoretically in the atmosphere right now. Should I give re-entry another try? On the attitude control? I feel like it's gonna mess with me. I mean, it's okay for the Gemini capsule to point down just a little bit, but this is pretty severe. There's so much that that's gonna catch quite a lot of heat. Also, it doesn't seem to jive with what it's showing me here. This shows me pointed at the horizon, right? Maybe my platform is not properly aligned or something. Didn't really do that. Well, at least we're coming down this time. 63 kilometers even. By now, there should be significant forces on the vehicle, to be honest. We do read some acceleration here. It's just not being very dramatic about it. Well, what I have to do is keep an eye on this altimeter. And once we hit uh, 45,000, I better be ready. Oh! Let's decide to do the re-entry thing. Uh, our orientation on the outside is completely wrong. Yeah, this is not the way you want to be re-entering. And it punished me for it. I think I failed the test. Commander panel? I probably shouldn't have gone outside anyway. May have been alright if I stayed inside. So... Okay. I think I need to review how exactly to bring it back in. At least we got to the point where we could go back in. But there's obviously something wrong going on here. Right, well... I'll take the exam again. But not in this video. So this is my fate this time around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.